you very much. We're talking about some health news in Two Year Health. We know that many people snore, especially adults, but we don't often think of kids as snoring, but about 10% of kids snore more than a few nights a week. So what causes it, and how can you tell if it's something that you need to be concerned about? Dr. Stephen Hawkins, a sleep medicine specialist at Children's Hospital Colorado, is here with some insight for us. Good to see you, Dr. Hawkins. Thank you very much. So we don't think of kids snoring. I have heard my kids snore. I don't necessarily worry about it. How common is it? So as you mentioned, about 10% of kids probably snore more than just a couple of nights a week. And if they do that consistently, then we think that's too much. Snoring is because somewhere in the airway is narrow. And so you're having to work a little bit harder to make that noise. Mm -hmm. It's like a musical instrument. You have to blow hard through a narrow piece to make noise. And that means it's too narrow. Does snoring mean that you're not sleeping as well? Not necessarily, but there are some studies that suggest that kids that do snore, whether or not they have any other trouble at all, are less likely to do as well in school, for example. Okay, so what are the warning signs? More than a couple of times a week? More than a couple times a week, restless sleep, mouth breathing, um, certainly if you hear pauses in breathing, um, but the things during the day that we look for could be lots of reasons. Hyperactivity, focus, concentration issues, trouble with school, trouble with mood or behavior. Um, lots of health issues seem to overlap with disrupted sleep and trouble with breathing at night. Being a sleep specialist, uh, specifically for pediatrics, what do you do about it? How do you help kids? The first thing is we look for triggers. Are there triggers to the airway being narrow? And that can be anything from allergies to a dry, uh, dusty climate, like the one that we live in. Um, it could be related to weight. We're certainly seeing more kids that are having trouble with being overweight, and that plays a role. The biggest reason, though, is usually tonsils and adenoids that are enlarged. And that's where we look for either medical ways to shrink those up or more commonly surgical ways to get those out of the way, open up the airway, make it easier to breathe. So if any of these things are present, what do you suggest? Have your uh, the parent talk to their general pediatrician? The first thing I suggest is a pretty easy thing, saline sprays or rinses mm. in the nose, depending on how old they are. Talk to your pediatrician if you're worried and there can be some medicines that you could try, but you may want to talk to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, a sleep medicine doctor, or think about asking for a sleep study. Well, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, so I would, we appreciate your advice, and it is something that as a parent you just can't ignore, ever. Absolutely. Okay, also uh, we're going to...